Hi, hello and welcome science enthusiasts. Today I'm going to put a huge animal under the microscope. It's a moose. Uh, in Europe we also call them elks. I'm gonna put it under the microscope, but don't worry, I did not have to hunt it, but actually I got it already prepared. Look what I got as a present some time ago. This is a Nordic elk jerky. A friend of mine visited Norway um, so recently and brought this uh, back uh, home as a souvenir and also as a present for me. And was really happy when I got it because this is a really nice uh, subject and specimen to put under the microscope because there are a few things um, of biological significance that I would like uh, to show you. Now uh, this Nordic elk jerky is dried meat, uh, therefore quite hard, and uh, preparing it for microscopy, well, it does take a few minutes. <laughs> I had to first rehydrate um, the elk jerky and uh, add a little bit of water to it, and this kind of soaked up um, all of the water and made it soft again. Again. And uh, then I had to essentially separate the individual muscle fibers, the individual muscle cells, um, to make it uh, very thin. And I did that simply by, with a lot of patience, uh, by taking uh, tweezers and a scissor and the pointed uh, tips. Uh, I used those to separate the individual fibers. And um, after about 10 minutes of, of work, um, I was able to um, get a sufficiently small and thin sample. So essentially, what I did is, is I made a, I tried to make some mousse uh, out of uh, the mousse. Um, yeah, um, no pun intended here. A pretty bad joke if I think about it. Yeah, um, doesn't matter. <laughs> In any case, uh, you have to get the specimen thin enough uh, uh, to uh, put it under the microscope. A cover glass goes on top, and then under the microscope, I could of, could of course see the individual muscle fibers very nicely visible. Um, you know, so the preparation technique did work. Um, you, you can also see that uh, they have become transparent now, allowing light to go through. And I was really happy with the first results, but I was really hoping as well that maybe I'm able to see the things. That I want to show you. So I zoomed in further by increasing the magnification and then um, I immediately could see uh, yeah, that what I was really eagerly hoping for and these are the so-called the light and the dark bands of the muscle. Um, look carefully if you're able to see maybe that those muscle fibers, they have those uh, lines, the light and the dark lines, almost like a zebra it looks, uh, yeah. Um, and these are the light and dark bands which are made by the proteins actin and myosin. Now I would go a little bit too uh, far if I were to explain you now the actual functioning um, of those proteins but essentially it's uh, those protein fibers that are able to slide past each other and therefore the muscle is able uh, to contract and uh, this is actually how the muscle then works if those protein fibers yeah I don't know yeah like like it's sliding past each other um, and this causes the muscle to contract and this also causes the light and the dark bands uh, to appear um, and uh, what I've done therefore is I uh, looked at it uh, very nicely and then all of a sudden I re realized of course I remembered well um, what about what about the other parts of a cell right um, don't cells also have other cell organelles like for example uh, nuclei Right? And it says, yeah, of course they do. And I thought, well, maybe I'm going to stain uh, the cell as well. So what I've done is I added some methylene blue. This is a general purpose stain, uh, which likes to stain pretty much um, almost anything but especially DNA. And uh, inside the nuclei, we can find the DNA and I added to the stain and then what did I see? Nothing. <laughs> Why everything was uh, blue, um, it was far too dark, um, way too concentrated. Yeah, really disappointing result. Um, and I looked under the slide a little bit uh, more at a place where the stain uh, was a little bit less concentrated. And indeed, all of a sudden I could see that there were those dark blue dots inside the muscle cells, many of them. And I was really happy because of course, these are the nuclei um, of the muscle fibers. And uh, here things start to become a little bit interesting again, because uh, the muscle cells look uh, different than other cells um, of the body because uh, those muscle fibers are relatively long. Uh, they can be up approximately a foot long, so 30 centimeters um, long and uh, one cell, right? Um, and uh, they can contain hundreds of nuclei. So essentially, normally a cell only contains one nucleus. Um, however, here we have a case where those cells are extremely long containing those actin and myosin protein fibers that I just talked about. And then the nuclei can be found on the side. So in the, in the center you have those fibers and on the side, uh, pushed to the side you have, uh, you have the nuclei. And uh, this is basically also something that I could, uh, could, uh, could find out here. And I was really happy that uh, all of those biologically significant structures can be found quite easily um, yeah, within just uh, a couple of minutes of, of preparation work. And if you yourself want to try this, and if you do not have elk jerky, of course you do not need 
meat, dried meat, uh, any meat will work. Um, of course, you can also, for example, try chicken meat, uh, which is uh, already quite soft. Um, so you just boil it and uh, you put it directly under the microscope and you're also going to um, find uh, those, uh, those structures. I've tried it out before, so it does work. Okay, uh, so what do I have to do now? Well, of course, <laughs> you've guessed it. Uh, I'm going to now um, uh, taste it. Um, it's the first time that I'm doing that. Um, yeah, so and uh, yeah, mm, pretty hard. Mm -hmm. mm. A little bit salty, of course. They added some sea salt. Mm. Mm, uh, a real mm, look. Mm. Mm. Why use tweezers and, and scissors? You can also <laughs> you can also um, separate the fibers this way. Maybe I can put this under the microscope as well. Yeah, no. I think it's better beaten. <laughs> I think it's enough for today. Happy microbe hunting as always. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please do consider subscribing. See you around next time. Bye bye.